In an earlier video I talked about the cycloid, which is the curve traced by a point on a circle as it rolls along a straight line. A hypocycloid is similar but is the curve formed by the path of a point attached to a smaller circle as it rolls around inside a larger circle. If the smaller circle has radius A and the larger one has radius B, the parametric equations for a hypocycloid can be written as follows. x equals a minus b cos t plus b cos of a over b minus 1 times t and y equals a minus b sine t minus b sine of a over b minus 1 times t. The type of hypocycloid depends on where the point whose path is being traced is located on the rolling circle. If it lies on the circumference of the circle, the curve generated is an ordinary hypocycloid. If it lies anywhere else, the result is what's called a hypotrochoid. A hypocycloid has a closed form, that is the moving point eventually retraces its steps, when the ratio of the rolling circle and the larger fixed circle is equal to a rational number, in other words, one whole number divided by another whole number. When this ratio is in its simplest form, the numerator is the number of revolutions covered inside the fixed circle before the curve closes, and we get back to the starting point. A hypocycloid with three cusps is known as a deltoid, and one with four cusps is called an asteroid. And you don't have to be a mathematician to be familiar with various curves in the hypocycloid family, because they can be easily drawn with that popular drawing toy, the spirograph. In the same family of curves as the hypocycloid and hypotrochoid are the epicycloid and epitrochoid. The prefix epi just means outside. So an epicycloid is the path traced out by a point on the circumference of a circle of radius b rolling on the outside of a circle of radius a. It's described by the following parametric equations. x equals a plus b cos t minus b cos of a over b plus 1 times t and y equals a plus b sine t minus b sine of a over b plus 1 times t. An epicycloid with one cusp is called a cardioid, one with two cusps is called a nephroid, and one with five cusps is called a ranunculoid, after the buttercup genus Ranunculus.